Besides adding text, we can insert audio, video, different shapes, charts and diagrams also to our presentations using the insert option. I will demonstrate how to add an audio file to a slide. Currently the first slide is an active slide. So whatever audio I insert will be inserted on this slide. I click on the audio option and now I can select an audio file stored on my drive. I downloaded these files from internet and saved them in my drive. So I can choose a file from my drive or a file shared with me on my drive. I select the nature file and now this nature file is going to appear, this nature audio file is going to appear on the first slide of the presentation. The speaker icon indicates a file has been embedded here and the length of the file is 2 minutes 47 seconds. Now I have the format app options available in the right pane. How do you want the audio should be played? When you click on the first slide or should it start automatically? I have set the option to automatically. I can control the volume of the sound. I don't want it to be very loud. So I will decrease the volume. So when the presentation is started and I don't want a speaker icon to be displayed on the presentation, then I, will, I can select this option for hiding the icon. Loop audio means, let me say, the first slide remains on for five, second, uh, five minutes. So after the, video the audio file has been played completely, loop audio will restart the audio once again till you switch over to the second slide. You also have an option that the audio continues through your entire presentation if you deselect this option. If I deselect the option, the audio won't stop even if the slide changes. But if I select the option, the audio will stop when I move on to the second slide. Now let's see how this audio is going to be played. I choose the present option and now you could hear the sound. I have stopped the presentation or if I had switched to the second slide, the audio would have stopped. So that way you can insert any audio file, whether it's your recorded sound or any music you want to play or any audio lecture that you have recorded for your students can be inserted like this. Next, let me insert a video in the presentation. To insert a video, I will insert a blank slide after the first slide. I click on plus to insert a new slide. And now a blank slide has been inserted. Moving on to this slide, I can change the layout of this slide so that it is a blank slide. A blank slide is inserted like this which doesn't have any text boxes. Now the blank slide is there onto which I will insert a video. As you click on insert video you will find again a dialog box opens up and now you can search a video from YouTube and insert it here. You can also insert a video from Google Drive in case you have created a video and display that to the students. So as I type parts of computer, I get various presentations or videos. I can select any one of them and say select. But this video will be inserted on the slide. Now this video doesn't cover the entire slide you can see that so to ensure that the video is appearing on the entire slide I will drag this item so that now it is stretched to the maximum we should resize it diagonally so that the video doesn't appear to be elongated or stretched now I can drag it to the center of the slide now you can see that when a four-headed appear, four-headed arrow appears on an object, that means we can move that object. And when a two-headed arrow appears, that means we can resize this object. We have to be 
careful about these uh, mouse pointer shapes now this video has been inserted and now i can always play it once again let me start the presentation and now i play the video A desktop computer is made up of several basic parts and in this video So you can see the video played, whatever video I inserted, it is going to be played just like a YouTube video for your students.